Welcome to our guide to exploring Switzerland like a local. Switzerland is known for its breathtaking mountains, picturesque cities, and delicious chocolate, but there's so much more to this beautiful country than meets the eye. In this video, we'll take you on a journey off the beaten path to explore the hidden gems of Switzerland, from quaint villages to scenic hikes, and much more. The Hidden Gems of Switzerland Cities Switzerland cities are often overlooked in favor of its natural beauty, but they're packed with history and culture just waiting to be explored. Our first stop is Basel, a city on the border with Germany and France. This beautiful city is home to some of Switzerland's best museums, including the Kunstmuseum, which houses an impressive collection of art from the 15th century to the present day. Next, we head to Lausanne, a picturesque city on the shores of Lake Geneva. Lausanne is famous for its Olympic Museum, but it's also home to some fantastic food markets, where you can taste the best local cheese, wine, and chocolate. Finally, we visit Zurich, Switzerland's largest city. While Zurich is known for its high-end shopping and finance industry, it's also home to some incredible street art. Take a walk through the city's Kreis 5 district, and you'll discover a treasure trove of colorful murals and graffiti. Exploring Switzerland's quaint villages. Switzerland is full of charming villages that seem like they're straight out of a fairy tale. Our first stop is Lauterbrunnen, a tiny village nestled in the heart of the Swiss Alps. This picturesque village is surrounded by towering mountains and is the perfect starting point for some of Switzerland's best hikes. Next, we head to Appenzell, a village in the eastern part of Switzerland. Appenzell is famous for its traditional folk art, which you can see in the village's many museums and galleries. Make sure to try the local Appenzeller cheese, too, it's delicious. Finally, we visit Gruyères, a medieval village in the French-speaking part of Switzerland. Gruyères is famous for its cheese, and you can visit the Maison du Gruyère to see how it's made. The village is also home to the Gruyères castle, which dates back to the 13th century. Hiking in Switzerland's mountains Switzerland's mountains are famous for their beauty, and there are plenty of hikes to explore. Our first hike is the Bisse de Savies, a historic irrigation channel in the Valais region. This hike takes you through beautiful forests and past ancient stone buildings, all while enjoying stunning views of the surrounding mountains. Next, we visit the Diablerais Glacier, a stunning glacier in the Swiss Alps. This hike takes you up to the glacier, where you can explore the ice caves and enjoy the panoramic views from the top. Finally, we hike the Scheinige Platte, a mountain ridge in the Bernese Alps. This hike takes you through fields of wildflowers and pastures, with stunning views of the Eiger, Monk, and Jungfrau Mountains. Enjoying local cuisine. Switzerland is famous for its chocolate and cheese, but there's so much more to Swiss cuisine. Our first stop is to try raclette, a traditional Swiss dish made with melted cheese served with boiled potatoes, pickles, and onions. You can find raclette in many Swiss restaurants, but we recommend trying it in its place of origin, the lay. Next, we head to Zurich to try its most famous dish, the Zürcher Geschnetzeltes. This dish is made with sliced veal, mushrooms, cream, and white wine, and it's usually served with Rosti, a Swiss-style hash brown. Finally, we visit Ticino, Switzerland's Italian-speaking region, to try its local cuisine. Here, you'll find delicious Italian-inspired dishes, such as risotto with gorgonzola and walnuts or polenta with braised beef. Relaxing in Swiss spas. Switzerland is famous for its hot springs and spas, which have been popular since Roman times. Our first stop is Lukerbad, a village in the Valais region famous for its thermal baths. Here, you can soak in the warm, healing waters and enjoy stunning views of the surrounding mountains. Next, we visit Baden, a town near Zurich that's famous for its Roman baths. The town's hot springs have been in use since the Roman era, and you can still visit the ruins of the ancient baths. The town is also home to the Grand Casino Baden, where you can try your luck at the slot machines or the gaming tables. Finally, we head to School, a village in the Engadine region famous for its mineral-rich waters. School has several thermal baths and spas, where you can relax and rejuvenate while enjoying stunning mountain views. Exploring Switzerland's lakes, Switzerland is home to many beautiful lakes, and they're the perfect place to relax and enjoy the scenery. Our first stop is Lake Lucerne, one of Switzerland's most famous lakes. Here, you can take a boat ride around the lake, visit the charming town of Lucerne, or hike up to the nearby Rigi Mountain. 
Next, we visit Lake Geneva, Switzerland's largest lake. Lake Geneva is surrounded by charming towns and villages, including Montreux, famous for its jazz festival and Chillon Castle, which dates back to the 12th century. Finally, we head to Lake Briennes, a smaller lake in the Bernese Oberland region. Lake Briennes is famous for its crystal clear waters and stunning mountain views. You can take a boat ride around the lake or hike up to the nearby Giesbach Falls, a series of waterfalls that drop over 500 feet. Visiting local markets Switzerland has a rich tradition of markets, where locals come to buy fresh produce, meats, cheeses, and other local specialties. Our first stop is the market in Bern, which takes place every Tuesday and Saturday. Here, you'll find fresh fruits and vegetables, artisanal cheeses, cured meats, and handmade crafts. Next, we visit the market in Basel, which takes place every weekday except Sunday. Here, you'll find everything from fresh flowers and local wines to handmade jewelry and vintage clothing. Finally, we head to the market in Geneva, which takes place every Wednesday and Saturday. Here, you'll find fresh seafood, Swiss chocolate, and other local specialties, as well as vendors selling handicrafts from around the world. Discovering Swiss art Switzerland has a rich artistic heritage, from the modern art of the Cabaret Voltaire in Zurich to the classic works of the Foundation Baylor in Basel. Our first stop is the Kunsthaus Zurich, which houses one of Switzerland's most important art collections, including works by Picasso, Monet, and Van Gogh. Next, we visit the Cabaret Voltaire in Zurich, which was the birthplace of the Dada movement in the early 20th century. Here, you can explore the history of Dadaism and see exhibitions of contemporary art and performances. Finally, we head to the Foundation Baylor in Basel, which is home to a stunning collection of modern and contemporary art, including works by Warhol, Rothko, and Liechtenstein. Hiking in the Swiss Alps No trip to Switzerland is complete without hiking in the Swiss Alps. Our first hike takes us to the Matterhorn, one of Switzerland's most iconic mountains. Here, you can hike up to the base of the mountain, take a cable car to the top, or explore the charming town of Zermatt. Next, we visit the Jungfrau region, where you can hike in the shadow of some of Switzerland's highest peaks, including the Eiger and the Jungfrau. The region is also home to charming towns and villages, including Grindelwald and Lauterbrunnen. Finally, we head to the Engadine region, where you can hike through beautiful valleys and past crystal-clear lakes, including Lake Sills and Lake Silvaplana. The region is also home to charming villages and towns, including St. Moritz and Pontresina. Experiencing Swiss festivals Switzerland has a rich tradition of festivals, celebrating everything from the harvest to the changing of the seasons. Our first stop is the Fastnacht Festival in Basel, which takes place in February and is one of Switzerland's biggest carnivals. The festival features parades, music, and colorful costumes. Next, we visit the Alpabzig Festival in Appenzell, which takes place in September and celebrates the end of the summer grazing season. During the festival, Farmers lead their cows down from the mountains, decorated with flowers and bells. Finally, we head to the Sexalauten Festival in Zurich, which takes place in April and celebrates the arrival of spring. The festival features a parade, music, and a bonfire, and culminates in the burning of a snowman effigy. Switzerland is a beautiful and diverse country that offers a range of experiences for travelers. By exploring Switzerland like a local, you'll discover hidden gems, unique traditions, and unforgettable experiences. Whether you're exploring the Swiss Alps, relaxing in a thermal bath, or sampling local cuisine, Switzerland has something for everyone. So why not plan your next trip to Switzerland and explore off the beaten path adventures? You'll be amazed at the breathtaking landscapes, the rich history and culture, and the warm hospitality of the Swiss people. So grab your hiking boots, your sense of adventure, and your camera, and get ready to explore Switzerland like a local. You won't be disappointed.